Welcome back to the Black Star Media One YouTube channel. Today I chronicle the history and culture of the Garifuna. But before I begin, please subscribe and hit notify so you will be notified every time I post a video. Thank you. The Garifuna are an ethnic group of mixed African and Arawak Carib ancestry. Their history began with the shipwreck of a slave ship in the 1700s off the coast of St. Vincent. The surviving Africans made it ashore and soon began to intermarry with the Arawak population and adopt their culture and language. The Black Caribs as they were known by the French colonial powers who at the time controlled St. Vincent rapidly increased in number. Forming many villages throughout St. Vincent the French, however, were determined to subjugate both the Black Caribs and the Arawak Caribs. In 1719, the French colony on the nearby island of Martinique sent a military force to conquer the island. The Caribs, both Black and Arawak, defeated them and they retreated back to Martinique. Likewise, a British attempt to occupy the island in 1723 was similarly repulsed. In 1763, the British gained control of St. Vincent due to the Treaty of Paris. This led to a sustained and bitter war with the Caribs under the leadership of Chief Joseph Chatoye. The Black Caribs were such merciless fighters that the British dreaded facing them in battle. And after three decades of war, the British finally defeated the Caribs in 1796. The victorious British decided to deport the Caribs who surrendered. All Caribs who had African features, 5,000 in total, were deported to Honduras over a period of eight months. It is here the Caribs were to become known as the Garifuna. The reason the British deported the Garifuna from St. Vincent was because they were determined to prevent them from inciting more rebellions on St. Vincent and amongst the slaves. On neighboring islands. Of the 5,000 Garifuna deported, only about half survived the trip to Roatan. Once there, they formed communities and began to increase in number. They further migrated to mainland Central America, creating coastal communities in Honduras, Guatemala, and Belize. The demand for laborers and soldiers in the 1800s further helped the expansion and growth of the Garifuna communities throughout Central America. Today the Garifuna population numbers several hundred thousand with Honduras home to 200,000, Belize home to 150,000, 5,000 in Guatemala and Nicaragua and St. Vincent home to roughly 4,000.